Schools are closing all over the world. Countries like France, Germany, and the United Kingdom are going into lockdown and pools are closing. When countries go into lockdown, that most likely means that restaurants, movie theaters, social gatherings, and unfortunately pools have to close their doors. Now this shouldn't be that much of a surprise considering most of the world has already had to go through some sort of lockdown earlier this year. And of course, depending on where you live and the rate of confection in your area, you may not have experienced any lockdowns at all. Unfortunately, that's not the case for most people. And in the last six or seven months, we've all had to make adjustments. Now you might be thinking to yourself, if the science shows that community spread is slow at pools, then why are pools shutting down? And if my pool shuts down, what am I supposed to do about it? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about all those things. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to my swim pro. We share the latest and greatest to help you improve your performance and health both in and out of the water. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it with a friend who needs to see it, and let me know in the comments if you have access to a pool. And of course, let me know where you're coming from. We have a global community at MySwimPro, and I think we can share all of our experiences in the comments. Without further ado, let's begin the video. The first question we need to answer is why are pools closing in the first place? This can be extremely frustrating for swimmers. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a swimmer just like myself, and it can be extremely annoying and it can make you angry the fact that knowing that something that you do every single day or every other day has to come to a complete stop. So whether you swim for fitness or on a team in a master's group, there's no sugarcoating this, it downright sucks. And while this can be extremely frustrating for myself and tens of millions of people around the world, this is even more frustrating for some people whose only form of physical activity is swimming. Whether it's immobility or any other type of physical restriction, some people can only swim. So put yourself in their shoes, in their situation, and think about it from that perspective. But here we are, this is the situation that we're in. And for the last six months, we've had to make some really difficult changes because the Rony Rona virus has taken over the world. And in order to slow the spread of the virus, we've had to close up pools, gyms, and really restrict our social movement. I mean, let's take a pause here. Can you imagine being in a time capsule for the last six or seven months? And then all of a sudden waking up at the end of 2020 to find that the world's pools are being closed. To be honest, that would probably be the least of your worries and Captain America can't come to the rescue. But really, why are the pools closed? If you haven't already watched the interview I did with Dr. Paul Thomas about the pandemic or the Whiteboard Wednesday session where I talk about if it's safe to go swimming in pools during this pandemic, make sure you check out both of those videos linked in the description below. In summary, by closing these pools, gyms, restaurants, and all these different places that have a lot of social gatherings, we can actually reduce the spread and slow the spread of the pandemic. Now, I don't wanna get into the politics here, especially considering a announcement from UK Prime Minister just came out that all leisure centers are going to be closed for the next four weeks at a minimum. A lot of countries in Europe have already locked down. Here where I live in the United States, it doesn't seem like we're that far away from that. But all politics aside, there are some actions and things that you should do to make sure that these pools don't get closed forever. In a recent statement by Swim England Chief Executive Jane Nickerson, she said that the Prime Minister's latest coronavirus announcement was certainly inevitable. She goes on to say, I, like everyone in the country, hope they, and they referring to the recent lockdown measures, have the desired effect and we see the number of cases start to fall. She goes on to say that there still needs to be clarification on the types of pools and leisure centers affected, but goes on to encourage everyone to sign petitions to open leisure centers, which we'll link in the description of this video, and shout at the top of our lungs to keep pools open with Save Our Sports. One thing I wanna make very clear, this isn't about the United Kingdom, France, Germany, or the United States for that matter because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. All of our pools are closing and we all have the same passion for the water and we all wanna get in the pool as soon as possible. So because of that, we need to unite and join forces because again, we are all in this together. So if you're angry that the pool is closed, just know that you're not alone. Literally tens of millions of people don't have access to the pool, but that doesn't mean you should sit on your hands and don't take any action. If there's a petition that's relevant to you where you can sign it and actually make your voice heard to potentially reopen a pool where it's safe, or maybe even pools have closed and there really isn't any reason for the pool to close only because it seems like everything is being shut down, make your voice heard, speak to the aquatics director, make sure you're not tweeting randomly at three in the morning, 
but try and use the resources that we have linked in the description below. And if you have any other resources, link it in the comments or in our private Facebook group. But I encourage all of you to take action, stay safe, stay healthy, but remember, no pools, no excuses. If you're looking to stay in shape during the quarantine inside of your own home without the swimming pool, make sure you download the MySwimPro app. We have tons of training programs for swimmers specifically that you can do in your home with equipment or without any equipment at all. These are swimming specific movements that'll keep you in shape, invigorate your aerobic system, and also build strength and help prevent against injury. So that way you're focused on improving your performance and health out of the water. So that way when you get back into the water, you'll be on your way to reaching towards your goals. I'm also planning on doing more live dry land sessions, both here on YouTube or any of the other platforms you may be watching this on. So make sure you're following my swim pro on all of our different social media platforms so you can stay up to date and join me live for some of those workouts. And finally, if you're still watching this video until the very end, thank you so much for your time. Please share this video with other swimmers and members of the swimming community. Don't sit on your hands, take action, and above all else, make sure you stay safe and stay healthy. If you guys are not already in the free My Swim Pro Global Community Facebook group, I'll make sure it is linked in the description below. We have thousands of swimmers from over 100 different countries who are all passionate about swimming faster and smarter than ever before, training both in and out of the water. So like I mentioned, whether it's dry land or in the pool, nutrition, anything else, we've got you covered. Make sure you join us in the My Swim Pro Facebook group. If you'd like, you can also follow me on social media. I'll make sure my handle is somewhere down here as well. A little bit of behind the scenes action of My Swim Pro. Like always, stay well, stay safe, stay tuned until the next video, and have a great day.